Week one done, and we've got some injuries. Ladies and gentlemen, the week one injury list is actually pretty large. Yep. Some big names on there. Some huge yeah. names. Speaking of huge names, number one, I got Jerry Judy. Yeah. He has a high ankle sprain and is out four to six weeks. Yeah, that's, that's tough for the that's Broncos. That's so disappointing because he was yeah. so hyped up to have such a big right? year this year. Okay. And he had a good first game, too. And he finally had help because yeah. Cortland Sutton was injured all of last season. Mm -hmm. And now he finally has somebody on the other side to take the pressure yeah. off of him. And now he's hurt for four to six weeks. So that kind of stinks. It's just crazy how this stuff always seems to happen, right? Whenever they're about to have their like, breakout season. Yeah. I know. It's, just, best year. it's a shame. It's, so it's, it's a shame. Now they probably have Tim Patrick to step in for him. Yeah. But uh, a couple other wide receivers real quick just to kind of move on. We have Michael Gallup. He was looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, every receiver on the Cowboys yeah, looked pretty good. He's got good a calf strain. He's three to five weeks. And then update on Odell Beckham. It just says day to day. Yeah. I don't even. I was shocked that knee. he was out. His, his, it's his knees out acting up. I don't know. He seems like he always has some sort of lingering injury yep. problem, yeah. which is a shame because yep. it's just like wasted great talent. Oh, for sure. Who knows if that would have made the difference against the Chiefs? They could have mm -hmm. won that game. Right. Honestly. Honestly. Out there. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, so a lot of know, lot know. lot of cornerbacks yeah. actually on this list. Jason Verrett for the 49ers torn ACL. Gone. Terrible. That's a blow right there. In that division as well, man, that you don't want any injuries. Yeah. You gotta keep your I mean, starters healthy. He's mm -hmm. a guy that was gonna be on Tyler Lockett or DK Metcalf trying yeah. to lock him yeah. down. Yeah, 49ers can't catch a break. They did just bring somebody else on the team. 49ers did sign though cornerback Dre Kirkpatrick. Who so, is okay, but I mean he's no Jason Vera. I mean, he's yeah. gonna help. He's gonna help obviously. I mean, I guess. And then Lions, freaking this, Achilles, Jeff yeah. Akuda. Out for the season. This yeah. is a sad one. Whenever you see the young players that didn't have a chance to get a big yeah. contract yet yeah. go down like mm -hmm. that, 22 years old, he was the third pick in the draft. Yeah. yeah. Lions need all the help they can get, for and sure. that's a big blow to them. Biggest blow, in my opinion, and we've seen it Thursday night football, was Sean Murphy Bunning. They, he went down, and the Cowboys were going at Carlton Davis. Every single play, mm -hmm. they were making it tough on him. They need him back. Yeah. They really do. And three to four should, weeks. Yeah. yeah, three to four weeks. Dislocated elbow. Hey, maybe. Hopefully, it's three weeks rather than four weeks because yeah, he is a yeah. big part of their team. Another huge one is March on Lattimore, who just got a huge extension. Uh, it turns out he is going to need thumb surgery, which is bad. Uh, he's week to week, which who knows, you know, when he's going to come back. But man, that's tough for them. He was a game changer out there. Yeah, you know, he needs to be out there. No I doubt. think he is my number one cornerback yeah. in the yeah. NFL. He did so right good now. against Devontae Adams. He yeah. needs to be out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And back to the 49ers, Raheem Mostert. Yeah. Big knee injury. What is it, eight is, weeks? Eight. Yeah, is he is he done? I mean, he can't go a season without yeah, a big he's injury. Older. Dude, he's all older. The running backs is, always get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, that's terrible, too, because he really relies on his speed, too. So to have yeah. a knee injury is, that's like big, the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. I mean, they're going to fill in like they always do every single year, and whoever comes in at running back is going to be fine. They're yeah. going to be, they're going to do good. Yeah. Whether it's Trey Sermon or who was playing week one, who subbed in. Eli Mitchell. Yeah, he did good. So they just have a good scheme around whatever running backs there. They don't need a superstar yeah and a quick mention uh antonio gibson was limited in practice not too sure what's going on with him i, I think, think he'll be okay play. i think yeah it's, but it's just something to keep an eye on yeah because that game's this thursday though so exactly definitely got to so. keep monitoring that and then the big one ryan fitzpatrick yeah Sheesh. yeah haneke time I'm kind of excited to watch him play on Thursday. Yeah, was honest. that playoff game a bust against Tampa, yeah. or does he have potential? Yeah. We will find mm -hmm. out. I don't know. I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick, man, he's like the Swiss knife of the NFL, man. You know, yeah. he's just on every team. It just it sucks to see him injured. Who knows mm -hmm. how long he has left to play, but, you know, yeah, it's – yeah. who knows. And then this last one real quick is uh, left tackle Trent Brown for the Patriots. Yeah. Has a calf strain. He's day-to-day. Pretty good on that line for them. He's I mean, definitely Mac Jones, one of their better players. Yeah, yeah. he needs all the help he can get. He needs to be protected. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But that's pretty much all the injuries for Week One right now. Some big ones. No big, no big quarterback names. I really hope it stays that way. Stay tuned for Week Two. All the injuries we got you covered. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.